What's going on everyone, Tommy from Pizarro's Pieces. No boot sale video this week, but I did go to London Film and Comic Con yesterday. So let's have a look at what I found. So I attended the London Film and Comic Con uh, yesterday, majorly, majorly busy, obviously a lot of big names were there. Um, I got there really early, 9 o'clock for opening, um, didn't actually get in until about half 9. Obviously I wasn't interested in meeting uh, any celebrities or anything. Um, I did manage to get a little bit of footage, just sort of walking around some of the um, stalls and stuff, but it was so busy, it was hard to sort of get any... Um, decent footage, but I'm going to show you guys a little bit of um, me walking around. Welcome back guys, so I hope you enjoyed that quick uh, little bit of footage. So first of all, I want to say a big thank you to uh, my pal Ken, who was at Comic Con. We did a little trade. Um, I've got this, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what this is. I think it's just, a, it, come, it was a Marvel Legends, I think it was just a, um, a symbiote, uh, kind of like a mixture of carnage and uh, toxin, but one I haven't got now that we got into the collection. And also another Venom, which I do have. Um, I'm just looking for it amongst the Venom. I have got it here somewhere. Um, I think Ken mixed this one up with another one. There was another one that he had that I didn't have, um, but has given this one to me by accident. But that's not a problem. We can get that sorted. I'll see him probably at Sandown Park. 
So yeah, guys, as mentioned, London Comic Con, London Film and Comic Con, really, really busy, obviously, Saturday, probably, the, well, it is the busiest day, they were expecting 40,000 people, and it was, um, it was rammed, so the footage wasn't particularly great, but I did find some good stuff. So first of all, I'm just going to go through a couple of the uh, cheaper bits and pieces here. Uh, there's a wrestling store that's there, there's, there's always at that one, they're also a um, collector mania and they was having a bit of a sale a lot of the old figures were all sort of down to £10 um, not really any I wanted they had tugboat and a few others but I wasn't really too interested but I did pull the trigger on ravishing Rick Rude so yeah I, like I say £10 to be honest with you he's, he's probably only going for that sort of price on um, eBay but it's always good to buy stuff in person at these shows. Now, Funkos, oh, always a bit of a debate about Funkos. I'm not a fan of them, I'm not gonna lie to you, I think they have completely and utterly flooded the market. I do sell them, um, they are popular, but I sold pretty much all of mine that I had in my own collection, apart from Venom and Carnage I've got and I've also got Gizmo and Stripe from Gremlins. Now I've got this one only for the basis of who it is and who I, what I collect and this was pretty cheap for what this one goes for. Um, I paid £15 for it, another store was selling it for £25. Uh, it had a sales sticker on it so I paid £15 for it. It's the blue um, exclusive, I say exclusive, well the blue um, Venom. And like I said, this one on eBay goes for between 20 and 30 pounds. So 15 pounds, not too bad. So they've got the Black Venom, Carnage, and then Anti Venom, which is one I might pick up at a later date. I'm not too fussed, but um, as far as Funkos go, that one looks pretty cool. And I have pre ordered the, the two new Gremlins ones that they're bringing out the Flasher and the uh, Girl Gremlin uh, Greta. But the Gremlins Funkos are very different to your normal Funkos of like human characters. So I'm gonna get them to, again, only on the basis of it being Gremlins. So, moving on. Now, these two. I do already have these on pre-order. I have the whole set on pre-order. So this is the new Marvel Legends Venom um, series. So obviously there's six characters and then you can build the Super Venom or the Monster Venom. Um, you've got Venom, Carnage, Poison, Spider-Ham, Scream and uh, Typhoid Mary. Now, for some reason, these two, so I picked these up from um, In Demand Toys. These two were only 20 each, which is a good price considering most places don't have these yet, including the Forbidden Planet who I've got on pre-order with. But for some, for some reason, the other characters they had were 25 and Spider-Ham was 28. Nah, it was working out, if I bought all six, it was working out at nearly 150 quid. Whereas Forbidden Planet, I've pre-ordered them, it's coming to 125 posted, I think. They will give or take. So I only picked these two up only because they were there in front of me and I thought, if I do get them again with a pre-order, it ain't the end of the world, I'll sell them. So we have got... The Eddie Brock version of Venom, this is really, really good. And this comes with the builder figure right foot of the big Venom. I am going to open these. As mentioned, these are um, fresh, fresh out. And then we've got Carnage here, who comes with the Venom uh, builder figure head. As you can see in the top left hand corner there. Again, these figures are really, really good. Um, out of the six, um, these two are the main interest for me, but I will keep Poison and Scream because I've got um, the original Toy Biz versions of Poison and Scream and they are in line with these characters. The other two I'm not interested in and I'm going to end up selling them. I just want them for the, uh, for the giant Venom uh, builder figure. So yeah, them two. Then I'll pick this up again on the subject of Venom, Carnage, Carnage, Venom. Um, I've had this before, but 
they all, these always break, so I managed to find one with that with ones that are still not broken. Um, I paid a fiver for this, not bad. Uh, so this is like the I think it's, it was called the Alien Carnage or something from Toy Biz back in God, what was this nine? I don't remember ninety six. It looks like. So yeah, another Venom Carnage symbiote figure to add to the collection. We've got one. Two, three, four, five here, plus the Funko six. Nah, I've left the last item because it's the best item. I was shocked to see this there. I did, I see a few Gremlins bits there. Someone had um, a couple of Gremlin figures that was that were ridiculously priced. Um, I'm talking about small Gremlins, Necker figures, £85. I don't know where them prices have come from, but this figure. I managed to get at the price it's going for, but you do not see them at shows, especially in the UK to be honest with you. Guy had a hundred pound on it. I said to him, you take 80? He said, yeah, so I bought it and I've been watching one of these on eBay for months now. Now as well, regular watchers of my video will know that this was the last um, figure to give me a complete Pretty well, I say complete bar one um, Christmas version of Gizmo, which is a Toys R Us exclusive in the States. I think um, this is the last Necker Gremlins figure from the normal line. This is the Phantom Gremlin, so I now have a complete Necker Gremlins collect figure collection. Obviously, like I said, there is the one Gizmo Christmas version of Gizmo, but you can pick him up on eBay in the States. Um, for about 40 posted to the UK so I'll get him at a later date but I was shocked to see this guy so I'm over the moon with this one um, it was the only one he had as well so only Gremlins figure period that he had and it was the one that I wanted the one that I needed so overall a really good day um, I picked up some other bits and pieces for stock as well so not just all for myself it was some more for the business so yeah guys that was uh, that was pretty much it overall a really good day like I said I'm not gonna be at the boot sale but I've not been at the boot sale sorry because um, because it, the weather's gone a bit screwed with as well it's hot it's raining it's stopped and um, I've got a few other things I need to do so I decided to just do a video on um, London Comic Con so guys, if you're watching this and you ain't subscribed, please consider to do so. Don't forget, I am on all social media. The links are below, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Guys, until the next video, which will probably be next weekend, back with a boot, so we'll have to wait and see. I will see you all then.